And in one of the most crowded races of the primary, the Republican side of the Oregon governor's race, Christine Drazen is in the lead with 24% of the vote. Bob Tiernan not too far behind with about 19%, followed by Stan Pulliam and Bud Pierce. All right, let's go to Pat Doris. He joins us live in Canby with the Drazen campaign tonight. And Pat, some delays in counting in Clackamas impacting these numbers, but I understand Christine Drazen came out just a few minutes ago and spoke there. Absolutely. Well, they're very frustrated with the Clackamas County numbers having such few reported here, and it will make a big difference in this race. She has the lead. She'd really like to know exactly what the numbers are, as all the campaigns would. She painted her two opponents, uh, Betsy Johnson and Tina Kotak, as basically a third term of Kate Brown and said that she is the one who can make a difference in Oregon and that she is ready to lead and she's ready for what is next. The Oregon we know, the Oregon we love is hurting. Too many of our neighbors are living on the streets, our schools are failing our kids, and our families are feeling the pinch of high taxes and record inflation. Our communities have been left behind, and our urban communities are struggling to stop a violent crime wave that is robbing Oregonians of safety in their own streets and neighborhoods. It's time to lead our state in a new direction. Earlier tonight, Bob Tiernan, the Republican currently in second place, held a media briefing over Zoom. He stressed that there are big problems in Oregon, and whether he's the candidate or not, there will still be big problems to solve. Our issues, whether win, lose, or draw, are the same. We need to solve our homeless problem here in Oregon. We need that resolution now, not next month, not six months from now, not two years from now. Lawlessness. The crime, the ever-increasing crimes, the shootings, uh, we need to resolve those. We need to... And Drazen uh, here in front of her supporters announced that this is her 25th wedding anniversary tonight with her husband Dan and that she thanked him and her children and their supporters and said that they are all ready for the campaign into the general election. Back to you. All right, still a very active race on the GOP side there, we should mention. Thank you, Pat.